Hey there, it's Potmos and tonight you're to join me for a brand new episode with Academia School Simulator as we are at the last day of this year, year three. So we're going to rush through this day, make sure that everything goes well. Then we will end the year, see how well we've done and then we'll expand the school again, get some extra students in. And hopefully we'll just do another quick run throughout a whole year. I'll do some speeding up and then we can see how well we did with a completely filled up school. Now for now things look kind of okay I guess. Uh, we have a detention room, we have one bully that we still have to catch. But that's been going on for a while. Other things look quite okay. Three ply paper, that's good. We have superior stuff. Ah, we can even get superior coffee now. That's very good. And, well, most things just look nice. Espresso, that's good. So, um, most things in the school are running quite the way they should. It's time for some more research, I guess. Let's go for the best teachers possible. Not that we're using it, but I just want to do all the research because I think that's nice. Um, and, well, I don't think we can see... Oh yeah, we can. School valuation, 1.4 million. Ah, oh, guess we are quite a good school. As students enter the second period, they're in class again. Let's go over some of the rooms, see if we have to do some repairs anywhere. Doesn't appear to be the case at this point. Are we doing a grant? No six students for four days? Well, hopefully. We can get that one finished. We get an event. Ooh, those are always nice. I'm tired of the thug life. A goon asks if he can do all jobs at the school. Well, I have um, some bad experience with that. So let's not do that. One random item is broken. A urinal. We'll repair it. One of our workmen should get there quickly. And it's fixed. Perfect. That's how we want to see it. A quick fix. And then things are done. All right, I say things look rather okay. Now, last episode at the end, the uh, some of our students, of our teachers, were uh, actually done with uh, their classes, so they're now smart teachers. So we'll rotate with a few teachers that are not so good at this point, at the end of this year, so we get even better teachers for next year. But I think if we take a look at how classes are going. It's actually not going that bad. They're doing quite good. So I, I'm pretty happy with it. Of course, there's always room for improvement as long as not every score is 100. But, well, let's not be too uh, picky and too, too harsh on ourselves. I think we, we run quite a good school. All right, all the computers are still good. Don't see any other stuff broken. Um, all the easels are good. So we'll just have to wait until the end of the year. Then we can add these classrooms. Make sure that we get a completely filled up school. And hopefully do very good with that. It'll be a lot of fun to watch a fully occupied school. Well, they're using both swimming pools. That's a good thing. That's why we have two of each. And I think if we add even more rooms to the school, that we'll get even more usage of all the double rooms that we have. I, th I think things look rather okay. We're doing quite well. So let's just keep it up like this. All of our personnel is eating. I might need a slight increase in the size of this room, but well, there's a few open spots now where people can still sit, so. I guess having them eating works out well. All of our janitors are now cleaning again. I think we have a pretty clean school. It saves a lot of time and effort because we, um, ooh, let's repair this. Because we have the better toilet paper and stuff, so the toilets don't get that messy. And these two are now cleaning up all this mess, so that's good. Yes, it works quite well. I think this is a monitor. Ah, there they are, cleaning up the stuff. Do we have a um, 
janitor route in here. Oh yeah, there we do. But we should add probably a second janitor so that they can really keep up with all the cleaning work. Very nice. We still have an open room. That's good. If we desperately need some room extra later on, then we can get it. It's the 8th period. We're nearing the end of this school year. Let's do a last check. Everything here is good. I do believe we still acquire enough money to pay for all the water and power. Yes, so that's good. That doesn't give us extra cost. Everything here is still in good shape. No broken stuff. Yes, everything looks perfect. They're dismissed. Good teacher research complete. Oh, that's nice. This needs to be repaired. But I think otherwise, we have a superb school. Now, students will go home. After that, the teachers should be going home, along with all the other personnel. And then we'll really have the end of the day. Let's see how we can do. And then we can finally set up for a new year. And I'm looking forward to that. There they go. All the personnel. Well, that's and students. Quite a lot. Bye bye. Yeah, we have quite the busy school. Logistics, janitor priority. Yeah, they do need some cleaning here. Luckily, they're still busy. So they can do a bit of this work, but soon it's over. School will close. Yep, there they go. Well, there's a few spots left that they still have to clean. Ah, he did this part. Now you should go home now. It's time to rest. End of year. Let's see how we did. Did we do any good? I really hope so. The final exams. There we go. Let's see the results. This year's school rank is 15. Oh, I'm actually quite happy. That's good. And we got an A for cleanliness. We get extra prestige. We get a lot of money. We did better than our other school. Rival rank is 31. So that's nice. Everybody passed. All right. So that's good. Exam results. Yeah, very good. 100% A. That's very good. So let's go to the next school year. Let's start setting up again. Ooh, we're now in the Mushroom League. We reached rank 250. Very nice. Finished three school years. Yeah, we did. Students are not assigned to classrooms and stuff. That will do soon. Let's first start by adding the classrooms. Let's zone. Um, classrooms. These are the freshman rooms. So let's set them up. So that we can add extra freshman students. Then let's go to sophomore. We can only do one class there, but that's okay. We can do two of these. So still a lot of room for improvements. All right, there we go. All the classrooms are set now. So now we can get to uh, the maximum number of students, I guess. Um, so I say let's go to admissions. Here we can see. Um, I think we should check the Qurans, actually. See, these are all still freshmen. So one, two, three. So this is 10 freshmen, 20 freshmen, 25 freshmen. No, sophomore. Oh, interesting. So 10. Hmm, I'm not sure how this will go. Ah, we can accept five, five, five. Okay, so we can accept five for each year. That's interesting, actually. Um, so we might need to leave some space. I guess we could get this up to, let's say, a hundred. I think we should do all a hundred. That might be a good amount so that we have some room to play with. Now, we already have 50 of these, so we should do 50 more. Oh, we don't even have 50 more. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, we already have 120 of these. Let's see. Um... We'll do 110, so we'll add a few more. Same here, 110. All right. 
Well, this brings in good amounts of money. That's good. There's just not more sophomore students that we can add. So we have space for 10 more here. So let's do right. Do the same here. We can add 10 here. Well, 24 right here. So that's a lot more. We'll see how we can fix that. But I think this should be it. Um, then we should be able to go to the classrooms and tell them all to distribute. Yes, I want that equally. Well, this is all 12, apparently. Year 3. There's no unassigned now, so that's good. But we have two classrooms not even close to being filled up. Let's take students from all of these so the bonuses get higher. I wonder how they think this is evenly distributed if you have a class with 4 and a class with 5. Alright, 11. So we can get um, a few classes with only 10 in them. Alright, well this seems to be better distributed. So let's do it like this. Let's check all the other classes. Class size 12, 2. No, nobody. Oh, that's year 2, of course. Ah, that's the thing. So if we go to year 4, we can see that there's still empty classrooms. Quite a bit, actually. How is that happening? Ah, I think those 20 still need to come in. That's probably the thing. So I guess if we start the year, then we can really redistribute them all. Uh, and then they'll be in, and then we can really set that up in a correct way. I think. I'm not sure, but I think. Okay, so that's all good. Let's go to the departments. Um, because I think... Well, if we go to the schedule first. Yeah, senior classroom lacks teachers. Check your schedule. So... We need more teachers, apparently. But we still have a good amount of teachers. That's fully trained as well. So we can put these in in the right uh, jobs. Let's see. History. And then let's see how well we do. If we have some teachers to spare, maybe. Or if we should hire even more teachers and train them up. That could also be the case. But we'll see. Physical education. This one is for language. And this one should be science. Yeah, okay. So, do we have all the students that we need right now? All the teachers that we need? Or are some classes still lacking? Science, art. Alright, science and art need an extra teacher. Because, well, apparently we don't have a good one there. So that is something. Question is, can we get a good one? But they're really expensive. Um... So, but I basically want a really good one. Because then we don't have to train them all up. Alright, science. This is a good science teacher. He has a big decrease in discipline. Ooh, that's not good though. Let's find more. We have plenty of money anyway. This is a good math teacher. Language teacher. Good art teacher with no negative traits. Perfect. We will hire you. Go in there. This is a good language teacher. A big increase in fun. And this is science. So that's interesting because we do need a science teacher. That one isn't that expensive. So we'll get this one in too. Now I believe all classes should now have teachers. So at least we can start a school year. Problem is we can't train anybody. So what we might do is hire another set of teachers for each year and train them up all year. Hmm. Oh boy. That's a lot of work. Small decrease in energy. That's not good. Small decrease in discipline. Small increase in fun. So this is an art teacher. And we can get a small increase in fun with her. So um, let's hire this one. We're not going to put her in a class though. So this is art. No, no, no. I'm not going to sign her. We need to train her up soon. All right. We have one for art. Let's see. This one can be science. So let's hire this one, but put her up there. Um, yeah, you're not good enough. You're not good enough. 30 history. Okay, you can be the history teacher. 
art, science, and history we now have. So let's continue. Math, perfect. You'll be the new math teacher. Art, science, history, and math. So we need language and physical education. Physical education at 30. Oh, that's okay. Let's see if there's some better. No. Small decrease in energy. That's not supposed to happen. A lot of increase in fun. That's nice. I would like to see that. But some of these are just not good enough. Let's find more. Let's see. They need to be good at least at math or or language or physical education. Small increase in fun. I would like to find somebody that's already a little bit better maybe. Increase in energy and physical education. Very good. You're the new physical education teacher then. Now all we need is a language teacher. Let's find somebody that's already okay at language. So we don't have to fully train them up. 29. Yeah, that's okay. But maybe not as good as I want. So let's find more. Language. 33. That's good. Let's see if we can get even a better one. But I don't think so. Big decrease in discipline. No, we'll hire this one for language. Okay, so we have new teachers now that we can start to train up. Um, that's working out. And then I think everything is set for a whole new year. So let's start a new school year. But first we'll have to set up a few things. I have a school with 360 students. We are now a medium school. All right, so let's see. Um, clean bill of health is completed. So we got some extra money. We make good money as well. That's nice. Reach rank 500 with 400 students. Oh, well, we got a lot of reports. That's cool. Um, let's see, because I think, yeah, here we still have only two people in year four. So we'll still have to do some redistributing. We'll get one out of each class. Oh, we still have 12 to distribute as well. Hmm. Let's set this up to 10. Or probably we'll have to do it up to 11, I think. And then we can have a few with 10 and a few with 11. Probably. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, they can all be 11. Ah, perfect. That's good. Let's do all the classes then. Year 3. Let's see. Yeah, we also have an empty classroom here. We also have quite a few students to distribute. So let's evenly distribute them all. So we get the best results possible. That's good. Now I hope we still have plenty of teachers now. Because some of the classes are empty. And we are filling them in now. So that might pose a problem. Alright, let's put them all in and then take one out. Um, yeah, we'll do it like this. Ah, this is probably the class where we have the most available space, actually. Uh, I'm going to put this up at 9, and then we'll see how far we can go. We'll probably have a few at 10, and I think this is going to work out. Yes. Some classes with 9 students and some with 10. Okay, that's good. That's your... Two? No, not here. Two. Unassigned. Well, they can all go here, but we'll still have space. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can do even three more. Oh, no, this is too much now. Oh, that's not good. I made a little error there. All right, let's set them up at ten. And then we'll have a few classes of nine. Yep, there we go. And... Oh, there's still students not distributed. Oh, well, we can do a class of ten here, and then this is good. Then do year three ones. Yep, they can be distributed like this. All classes of eleven, that's good. Year four, same here. Classroom twenty-five. All right, all eleven. That's very good, actually. Um... There goes 12. Oh, they're all in the unassigned bar now. That's not good. 12, but that's the max. Uh, one. Let's 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, this should all be 11 as well. Okay. No, this is not working. How, why is this not going the right way? Ah, now it is. All right, so. Everything should be distributed quite evenly now. Question is, do we now still have enough teachers? Should be the case. Yes. Okay, very good. So the school year is starting, so we should go to the department and start training up our teachers. This is the language teacher. So we're going to train you up in a language class for like uh, eight days. So let's train you up. Perfect. You'll be the new physical education teacher. So we'll train you up in physical education for eight days. You are going to be the new math teacher. Let's train you up. You will be the new history teacher. Train you up. You are the new science teacher. Train you up and then you'll be the new art teacher. Perfect. All right. So at least we now get somewhere with training. Let's hope we can actually really train them up now. All right, so I think all things are set up now for the new school year. We're still doing some researches and we'll just have to see if everything will run smoothly. If we have plenty of room in our cafeterias or do we need to expand them a bit or whatever, we'll see. I think I'm not just going to see, I think I'm going to expand the cafeteria a bit. Um, like this, we'll just add these extra tables to them and then add seats to them as well. Just to make sure that we have plenty of space for all the new students, because that is an important thing, of course. So let's set it up like this. Perfect. Build 300 objects. Okay, very nice. There's a new grant that we can pick out. I'm not going to accept those new students, I think. I think it's fine for now. Achiever. Achieve 25 silver piece things. All right, that's good. We got that one. Beautification. A bake sale. Schedule a bake sale. Oh, that's easy. Um... Let's schedule a bake sale. There it is. Yes, we want to change the activity. All right, that one is completed. Dropout deduction. No dropouts for four days. All right, we'll try. We'll try. Let's go ahead with that. Now, we'll have to keep an eye out on the food. If they are able to cook enough food to feed all the students. Or maybe we need one or two extra cooks. I can't say that yet. A bench is broken. All right, let's repair it. That's okay. Well, we'll now have a busier school, so things might break down a little faster. But we'll see. Let's repair this. I don't think I have a worker route right here. No, so let's add a route. We'll do one, two, three, and then end the route. Four. Now, they don't break down that much, so one should be sufficient, but we could even go for two. We're not building that much anyway, so... Now at least we make use of the builders that we have. And they keep checking these toilets and fixing them. Better Teachers is now researched. Could have used this at the start of this year, of course. But that's okay. We make good amounts of money. So let's not be bothered with it. Let's see. Do we still good with the electricity? Yes. Still good with the water? Yes. We have a rude student. Well, that's why we have um, monitors out to try and catch the bullies. Hopefully they will. At least they should, so we'll see. And this all seems to be working. All classes are busy. We can see that two courts, two swimming pools being used at the same time. Very nice. Both computer labs in use now, both libraries in use, some classrooms are in use. And we, we have a few better teachers now, so I think we should see something good there. Now we can add, but we can add a few more sophomore students, so let's see. Well, we can't accept this one right now, we're doing the dropout deduction first. Okay, well then we're not, we're not going to do that. We make good money anyway, so why be bothered with that? Um, and I think what we have to do now is just go ahead and rush towards day 9 and see how we did. I'll be checking the events. I'm not going to pause again, so we're just going to skip ahead, fast forward, 
towards day nine. I won't be doing any talking. I'll keep the school running. I'll do all the repairs and I'll do all the researches and that's it. Well, we are halfway through the school year and well, the school basically runs itself. All we need to do is some repairs every now and then, but this episode is already taking quite long. So we're going to wrap this up right here. We did all the researches. Everything is running smoothly. Next episode will also be the last one. And then we will just go ahead, skip to the end of this school year and see how well we did. And at least I've shown you what's possible if you want to build a school, there's still lots of room for improvement. I'm not going to do that right now, but there's a lot of stuff that we could do better. But I think we have a functioning school with more over 400 students that's actually doing quite well. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. Leave any comments in the comment section. I will respond to it. And then, of course, I hope to see you in a new episode. Thank you so much. Bye bye.